हेलो वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड माय नेम इज महेश कार एंड यू आर वाचिंग मी ऑन यूट्यूब लाइव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू ग्रेट काइंड ऑफ फुल स्टैक वेब एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग फ्लटर एंड स्ट्रैपी सो इफ यू हैवेंट हर्ड अबाउट स्ट्रैपी इज अ टूल फॉर रैपिड ए डेवलपमेंट सो वी डोंट नीड टू राइट कोड फॉर बैक एंड एंड एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट यू आर एबल टू डू दिस लाइक द लिस्ट ऑफ यूजर हाउ टू फेश दिस डेटा फ्रॉम बैक एंड हाउ टू एड सम डेटा uh save this and uh, you can edit this thing uh you can view this thing you can delete as well so it's all up to you how you use it uh, so let's deep dive into it so i'm going to use uh, flutter for now okay this is strapi ui you don't need to gen this is a, a tool for generating api okay based on node but we are not writing any code for a writing api is okay so uh, first of all i am going to use visual studio code if you have downloaded this already so you can grab this from here code.visualstudio.com and the another thing is you have to have node available so you can grab this from here node.js.org okay uh, so you just need to download node.js for using strapi okay that's it we are not going to use node js anymore so uh, and this visual studio code very lightweight and for development of flutter i am going to use this thing you can use android studio whatever it may be it's all up to you guys i already have it so uh, okay open your code and you just simply need to install uh, flutter from here if you don't have it i already have it so after that you have to follow the procedure that's it so uh, after that inside view command platter search for uh, flutter new project click here and you will get uh, this input field uh, type the name whatever it may be like front end front end is my name okay and you have to choose location for it so i'm going to select desktop and i'll create new folder over here uh name it like uh, flutter and strapi okay so create this thing and inside here i'm going to create this folder okay so this is the first process of creating so for now you can uh, open terminal integrated terminal from here and you have to have at least xcode or uh, android studio available inside your system so you can use simulator so uh, it's recommended guys you have to install android studio uh, uh, currently i'm using mac so i'm using my i already have it xcode so now uh, search for node hyphen hyphen version once you get okay sorry once you get node available inside your system now we are able to uh, change your directory to flutter strapi and simply type for npx create strapi app space name of your uh, backend folder like backend okay that's it that's it guys we don't need to do anything else just fire this command to get up and running with strapi okay uh, lots of companies are using it like nasa tesla and lots of other companies are using this tool so i highly recommend you guys if you are a uh, android developer or ios developer you have to have this uh, available inside your system so you don't need to be dependent all the time on backend developers to for apis okay so that's it so this is my main dot dart you can for now i have to delete this we'll start from scratch and we need few pages like as we know main uh, another thing is list to view this data and for uh, view the specific user we'll use detail dot dart and uh, for schema for model we will use user dot dart that's it this is just uh, minimum required required uh, things okay in main file i'll import my material dot dart okay so i can use my 
void main method and inside that I have to run app and name of app generally we use home okay and I'll create my I need to use semicolon and I'll create a stateful widget okay there are two types of widgets stateful and stateless if something is changeable then we call this thing a stateful widget that's it so home okay so uh, if if you don't know how I got this just type for stateful stateful you will get this suggestion for stateless and stateful that's it hit enter and type for home that's it okay uh, you will get this option over here uh, quick start so you can select this quick start enter it will take time it will take a while so I'm not going to pause this video we'll wait for it okay and now in here child you just need to add um first of all we are working on material widgets so material app inside that home okay scaffold double f i'm sorry body uh, then uh, my container you can use container inside the center align my text again child and text will be hello that's it and now to to start my ios device or simulator you just simply need to uh, go here and uh, click here or otherwise you can use f5 directly function plus f5 on your keyboard and you will get this thing okay run this thing so it will take time to launch okay for now i'll make another pages like list again the process is same uh, import your material dot dart and create your stateful widget hit enter and name it my list don't use list okay and inside here again I need a text will be list that's it uh, okay inside your detail again import material and stateful widget name is my form my detail that's it text will be detail and inside my form i don't have form okay i have to create form dot dot so i can fill something i can post data the process of posting and updating data so for that i need to create form so again stateful widget and this time my form and use this thing inside here i have to create text field this is my form that's it so we got this we are getting error so let's see what made mistake okay after that after that written statement i have to use semicolon that's it again function plus f5 okay extremely sorry for that these are just minor mistakes i used to do this okay so for now we have user dot dart so i can create my model or you can say schema so for that just simply type for user or uh, this is my class so class user and inside here i have to create uh, my string will be name string email or uh, string password and my int id okay which will be auto incremented okay and in here i'll use a constructor so i can pass this dot id this dot name this dot password 
and that email this dot email that's it so that's it for now and here maybe simple and is required so it's launching okay uh, now inside main uh, you can create um, inside scaffold I need to use a app bar app bar app bar again and inside here you can use title will be type text I guess okay and in here you can write title for now my title is title that's it and after that I can use bottom navigation bar so in here I'll use my bottom navigation bar where is that bottom navigation bar and atoms uh, so we can use multiple atoms in the form of array so again process is same bottom navigation bar item bar item got it icon will be my icons dot add because we are going to add uh, something okay and my title will be child maybe I guess uh, let's see what is that title yep so title will be again type of text uh, so we can pass add okay simply add that's it comma and the next thing is to view data will use view that's it so we can see this data so it will be type of table chart this is my icon table chart so let's see how it looks like okay this is working okay so uh, i can close this i don't need this anymore okay if uh, okay i got error in here in strappy already another application is running it's completely fine this is my another application is running i already made this before that's why i'm getting problem okay so once again let's see i have to remove this folder and again i'll fire this command npx or uh, create strapy app backend hit enter it will take again while don't worry about it we'll continue with our development so uh, we got this and we got this beautiful ui and now the main part of coding we'll use so uh, now in here i have to create my int current index so we can change index and if you don't know about current index this is something uh, this which is active right now so current index is zero for now and uh, if I want to change this because it should be dynamic right so I have to change this over here current index should be current index but for now for the first time I'll use zero okay so it's already zero don't worry but if I change this to one it will reflect over here I guess I don't know why okay okay quick start select quick start if uh, something goes wrong okay uh, you can uh, if you don't see the changes over here you can hit this button refresh it will reload page manually okay I got this inside view you'll see that um, blue icon okay after that I have to use this on tab method so on tab I have to call function on tab so I have to create this okay so in here uh, simply create void on tab I'll create this function and I'll simply call uh, to change my view I'll create another function to change view that's it so I don't have it again I'll create a new 
change view and I'll pass index over here which will be available over here as well and here as well so I can use this over here and once I get this so I can use switch case over here and pass this index if I get the position is 0 it means I'll use this I don't need this default and break you have to use default okay so now uh, imagine if you change between tabs so you have to change the data that is widget and this title these two things are important to change something so i'm going to create a variable so here like a widget widget type will be my body okay so for now it's empty and another thing is type of string which is my title that's it so if i'm going to uh, if i select zero it means we are using title is form and body is form so in here i have to change my title to form right and my body to uh, my what my form but uh, i have to import this right uh, i already got it i guess okay yeah this is i already got this so if you don't uh, see this you have to import this manually okay uh, in case one i have to use this okay for case one i'll use list and in here i'll i'll use my list my list okay so i got this the list is available over here now, now the next thing is we can hit refresh and let's see if it's working or not okay click here on add uh, it's not working because i got something okay in here you have to change your current index current index equal to your index the first step and the next step is you have to set state for a uh, to reflect the changes right okay so the switch case is inside the set state i guess it will reflect the changes let's see uh, for the first time it uh, current index is zero by default okay here we go okay uh it, it this is showing hello world i don't know why but if i change this to here still this is showing me hello world i don't want this hello world because of in here i have to change my title okay this is my title and in here the body i don't want this body anymore instead of that i'll use my body okay if i hit refresh then i'll get this thing little okay i got error because let's see okay okay i got this error because by default when i call for the first time it this is confused yeah. because a body by default is empty okay so i have to use init method over here simply type in it you will get this suggestion and simply use tab that's it so while initiating you just simply need to call change view again but this time you have to pass your index by default zero so that's it and let's see how it looks like so still we are getting okay got this so by default on initiated we got form and if we change this we we get list form list and form but be careful guys uh if if we are getting list over here and if i click on that particular element then it will open the another page which is called as detail page but detail page should not contain this thing which will be another separate page so i have to create detail page i have to change few things in detail page okay uh, this is not sub 
part of uh, that page so it should be again it should contain material page again as usual the main page material app and in here I have to use home again where I, I'll use a scaffold again I'll create a body and inside that I'll use my container for now container child center element again so child will be again normal text will be detail that's it this is just a simple thing but inside detail I'll use my app bar okay oh sorry inside scaffold I'll use my app bar oh, and simply title inside that I have to use title which will be type of text and uh, that's it title is detail that's it I guess I don't need to use anything else that's it finish now I have to in install something we are going to use HTTP request so let's see again I got error I don't know why I'm getting this error inside my strappy server wasn't available start properly 13037 is already using I don't know why oh my god okay now something is running on 1337 so let's see now what I can inside desktop I can okay this is my old project that's why I'm getting trouble while using it okay let's try again I'm extremely sorry for that uh, strappy kind of thing okay uh, let it be it will again ask for the quick start I'll use the same thing okay and the another thing is if you are working on mean thing I have to create a form for for now so first of all let's get started with our form I don't know why I am getting this error again creating new strapy application on back and you can okay again I have to remove my folders okay I always used to uh, do mistakes in live streaming okay here we go so I uh, in here you have to create a form okay form contains child means column because we need multiple uh, things inside our column right so column contains children because we we have to insert multiple things like multiple text fields so this is my text field but uh, before proceeding we are going to use padding and lots of other stuff so for now I'll use simple text field let's see how it looks like so these are my simple three things and if I change this to my form this I'll see this is just a simple uh, input fields nothing else so uh, to use something in it you just need okay select again quick start extremely sorry for that okay in here I have to use padding so I have to wrap this thing inside a widget select this uh, yellow bulb over here and wrap this inside column for now again and change this to oh sorry use padding over here padding uh, by default padding will be each inside of all from all side we'll use 19.0 uh, or 20 or uh, whatever it may be and comma 
inside that I have to use my child and put this over here this thing your column so that's it I guess I don't like this thing uh, there may be some short way to do this but for now we have this process so okay I got this uh, padding from here and here so in here you will use icon I guess icon. I don't know okay it contains a decoration inside here I'll use uh, input decoration I guess input decoration yes and in here I'll use a uh, label text will be my normal text I guess no okay like this uh, is name okay let's see okay this is my name this is my normal thing and again I can use icon okay icon is available so use icon over here and there are multiple icons available like a person is one of them all the material icon available okay let's see how it looks like okay person is here and now I need a controller we'll use controller later don't worry about it for that I have to import my user so I can use my controller okay that's it now in here create your user like this okay so first is by default zero name is empty empty email and this is my password okay why this is empty because while post with the same form we are going to post data and update data so we need to use empty for the first time well and we'll if, if zero for that uh, from this uh, zero we will identify if the form is zero we will use another text field over here which is hidden by default if this is zero it means we are going to post data otherwise we will update that the data so uh, let's use it and copy this thing for let's use this controller which is edit editable controller text edit controller this thing and in here use text I guess text will be my uh, what is that user dot name that's it I guess okay okay that's it so now you can copy this thing for two times for email and password I'm not going to use valid okay my strapi is running over here so first of all we will complete the process of strapi just register with normal process okay it will automatically open don't worry about it okay uh, use strong password okay here we go okay now in here click here content times builder and select new collection type to create a, a new API and name it simply API that's it continue and select this text field whatever the fields there there are lots of fields available I'm going to use text for everything text for my name enter again select text for my email enter again text for my password enter that's it close this thing you will get this thing you just have to save this thing that's it finish we are ready to use our API okay with all the endpoints I'm going to show you guys it will take time to restart it's completely fine uh, this is restarting the server to get uh, reflect the changes and just you need to change this permissions inside here 
okay edit this thing so it, it uh, so api will be available publicly to uh, change update delete data so select all save this thing that's it we are ready to use again so i have to show you guys uh, which apis that we are using like this for creating we'll use localhost colon uh, 1337 slash api so you will get all the apis that are available like this if i hit this apis enter i'll get this empty array over here you can see this right so if i if i want to delete this uh, you will get this slash apis slash uh, id and with delete method with update i just need this normal api endpoints don't worry about it okay so now in here i got my name email password okay change this to password this is my vpn key vpn key is the icon available for password and here i'll use my password again this is my email that's it okay here we go this is my email now i need buttons okay i have to change this to here okay this is perfectly fine i need button so there are two types of buttons generally everyone is used to work on uh, raised buttons but i'll use a material button i guess material material button this one okay on press uh, nothing we'll use something like uh, this let it be but I have to make some changes like uh, minimum weight should be double dot infinity okay so to expand uh, the button for full width and the another thing I have to use a color so there are lots of colors available inside material design so you can we will use simply blue that's it and for text color i'll use my colors dot white that's it let's see how it looks like nothing because we don't have child i guess which will be type of text save that's it finish so but we need to use padding okay it's not looking good so as we know how to use padding again wrap this thing inside a padding thing okay here age insights dot all side i'll use again 19 i guess this is better if you don't like this there are other options let's see which is cool okay and here we go I don't have beautifier so I have to manually do this okay save it is not looking good again so we can use dot from LTRB left right so from left I need to use 20 from top I need to use 20 and from right 0 or 20 again from bottom 0 I don't know let's see so from zero again okay and from 25 this is all up to you how you use it okay oh my god i need to use 30 no 34 and this this is better i guess okay 35 is better that's it so here we go now i have to create something else that i have to import something from here i have to install something dependency of http because uh, we are using 
HTTP EPS. So current version is 0 0.12.2. Just uh, save this thing. It will automatically appear over here, and it will uh, install the dependency. That's it. You don't need to worry about anything else. Uh, so inside here, inside list view, I'll import this thing. This is just simply type HTTP and you will get this thing over here and import something called as dart async and I need to use dart uh, convert to convert our JSON thing. Okay, now in here I have to use a list. Okay, so I have to use my future builder over here so while well, future builder is something that allows you to fetch data okay in future whatever you are doing with the HTTP is uh, based on the future entity okay so this is my builder so we have to call functions like gate all gate all okay this is my function and once you get this and then after that um, builder and okay okay this is my future not builder this is my future in future I'll call this thing and in builder uh, I'll use my list view dot builder again okay but uh, this is something else build context uh, comma Async That's it I guess and in return I'll use a list to you so I need to define item count whatever it may be zero or one or two or whatever it may be in here again I have to use this written this might be confusing but uh, you will use to it uh, this is list tile okay that in individual tile inside list so uh, it contains title which is uh, type of text again and define whatever uh, your snapshot dot your uh, this is again a context okay build context context and the another thing is int id i guess that's it okay so snapshot dot data contains id means your current index you, you have to use index this is better i guess okay so this is my current index and dot your name or whatever it may be you are using it over here so that's it i guess use semicolon and again in here after builder you have to use semicolon okay now in here i need to use a subtitle as well uh, like type of text again my snapshot dot data index dot email again that's it for now i guess but i don't have this gate all okay 
so for that I have to create a future class a uh, future function which is get all which will fetch all the data which will type of async so I have to use a wait for HTTP dot gate okay uh, in here I'll use my HTTP colon localhost colon 1337 slash apis slash that's it so okay so i got this http error because i have to use as http over here that's it so now when we get this data where data so i have to convert this data okay so i have to convert this data into a json data so we can use this thing so for that there is a method called as json decode so i have to decode that data dot body whatever the data is available over here so now the simplest process is to look through each data okay and each that json data and create new user okay new user and in here use id this is my name this is my email and this is my password okay and you can save this data inside user again so that's it i guess otherwise you can use simply uh, this thing like users dot add and paste it over here but we don't have users right now okay so you just need to import user manually slash users okay and create a variable over here right here which will be type of list of your users which is called as users equal to equal to empty array so okay in return uh, we don't need to use that curly braces for single statement but it's fine return that users okay so this is the process of uh, fetching data from API as your strappy and this is the process of building this thing so let's see how it works as for that I have to use uh, in here snapshot dot data dot length but here is the problem if you know that something is uh, coming from that snapshot if uh, something is not available then I have to check this over here means if snapshot dot data is equal to equal to null it means we have to print that something is loading please wait for it right so written container contains a child in center you will use make sure to use semicolon okay so again child will be type of text is loading right dot 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 make sure to use dot 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 that looks better uh, and wrap this thing this thing i guess I don't know where is this okay this thing inside curly braces that's it you got this right okay perfectly fine let's see how it looks like we'll get error I guess okay we got error okay no such method the method is uh, was called on null it's completely fine list of user users users dot add 
ओके लेट्स रिफ्रेश दिस थिंग ओके हियर वी गो ओके ओके इन हियर आई गॉट एरर ओके आई हैव टू रिमूव दिस दैट्स इट लेट्स रिफ्रेश दिस ओके गॉट दिस इन लिस्ट आई डोंट हैव डेटा ओके इम टी डेटा दैट्स वाई आई एम नॉट गेटिंग एनीथिंग if uh, inside stepy if you add manually something over here for now i'll use manually mahesh okay mahesh at gmail.com and mahesh my password that's it so save this thing okay now again refresh the page okay got this so this is working but uh, i i can't able to touch this thing so on tab i have to use something like in here in list style i have to use on tab okay on tab you have to do something like to redirect to navigate navigator dot push this pop to push i have to close this thing context and new material page route i have to route this page to this is a process of routing the simplest process of routing so uh, in here i'll call whatever the page you want to go to so this is my detail my detail page okay i have to import this and pass context over here uh i have to import this detail page over here uh where is my detail okay detail ha uh, okay either is gone let's see how it looks like okay this uh, this is not working because i have to use snapshot.data.link i have used it okay i don't know why this is coming it's fine it's fine okay now click this thing you will get this detail page over here but the main problem is if i am getting this detail page i have to pass something in here like your whatever the snapshot.index is available over here okay so now in here click over here and in detail page you just need to accept that user okay so i have to import this thing dot slash user so i'm ex accepting uh, that user over here like this this dot user and now i have to pass this thing over here this dot user again the same process for this there should be some, some simpler process but i don't know i don't have this that's why i'm using this process so i'm passing uh, the user from there to here and here to here okay so i can use this user somehow here so first of all we'll try to get this thing over here like user dot name will be our title for now on inside here we'll use a user dot uh email mm, again i'll use name for now okay let's refresh the page and we'll get errors i guess okay here we go click here okay i got this mahesh mai show here it means everything is working okay so again i need to create a column as usual because there are multiple things over here okay so create column and inside column we'll use the what is that we we have to use padding first right because we always uh, get errors 
padding our padding should should be dot from all side we'll use 19.0 and the child will be our column okay contains children i don't know why i'm not getting this okay children's contains multiple text fields okay so text will be user dot name and it contains style as well okay this is my text it, it contains something style okay so text style i guess okay here we go and in here you can define a font size font size will be 20 let's see how it looks like okay 20 looking good enough okay and next thing is that's it i guess for now copy this thing for rest of them for email and for my password it should be like id email id name email right so i don't know why i'm getting this error because this is type of int okay i have to convert this into string so this is perfect now so let's see okay there is a problem i have to use uh, i don't want this center alignment so i have to change this thing inside column use cross axis alignment and inside cross axis alignment dot start save this thing okay it will appear over here and you can concatenate this uh, thing with id okay id name and email name and email okay that's it here we go i need padding so i have to use padding manually you can pause this video if you want to because uh, this uh, really very big h in set start from all again 19 is my standard value so I'm using it and child contains this so I have to copy this for rest of them okay paste it over here again okay that's it let's see how it looks like perfect now we need a button but make sure we need button uh, it should be in row okay so in row uh, we'll use a material button again it should be children material button okay on pressed uh, we'll do something whatever it may be edit or delete but for now it's null and another thing is color color should be colors dot blue as usual which is our theme and the text color will be colors dot white okay and the child element should be type of text of edit in here i'll use a spacer i'll tell you guys why i'm using spacer it makes sense to use spacer okay and here we go delete 
okay let's see how it looks like okay this looking like this but i want this my color to blue i don't know why i'm not getting this color let's see okay click here okay uh this disable for now i have to uh, create my edit and delete function this is my edit and this for my delete so uh, in here i have to create a void method edit okay void delete let's see now uh, okay i got this blue okay that's it and now we'll use edit will be type of async no this is not type of async we are going to pass the data but delete is the type of async okay so uh, that's it uh, now inside form let's see what we are doing over here inside form if our uh, if we are pressing the button of uh, okay let's refresh this thing first okay if i save this data i have to post this okay so let's import our http library http let's import our uh, async and convert i don't need to convert anything but even though that's it and if i use my future save async await function for http dot post data okay i have to use http colon localhost 1337 slash apis slash oh uh, that's it but i have to use as http over here okay so i'm i'm posting data but first of all i have to check this if if my what is that that the thing is user dot id okay user dot id is equal to equal to zero then only i'll post my data okay otherwise i'll put data so otherwise i'll use a put data but before that we have to do something use string header uh, headers and body headers i have to pass this thing headers and another thing is my body okay again which will be type of string string okay this is my name name is user dot name or uh, then my email is user dot email then my password will be user dot password so here we go now the next thing is we have to set headers uh, simple this is by process content type will be which is equal to application slash json okay and comma care set i guess care set is equal to utf 8 that's it so i i made mistake i know application slash json i don't know but there there is a mistake 
like this, this. Uh, uh, I'll be back. Uh, this is context type, okay. And in here, this is like this context. Context type. Ah, uh, that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, okay. Here we go. So uh, now, what's happening? Uh, you can copy this thing for the put data as well. Okay, the process is same. Instead of that, you have to change this to put, and in here you have to concatenate the ID of user like user dot ID. But this is in in int, so you have to convert this thing into string. So that's it. But after uh, that, you have to navigate to the list. Okay, so again, navigator dot push something. Okay so context and route will be my new new material page here is the trick okay uh this these are not two different things these are the same page okay this is the same material page view and add so i have to pass integer inside my main page this is my home page so if i pass zero it means uh, i'm trying to open the form otherwise i'll try to open the table so i i'll use new material page route over here and in here you have to pass context uh, and the name is my app okay which is home i guess okay so that's it so import import home ho, home uh, main main contains home okay so i'm getting this but i have to pass zero for form and one so currently i'm on zero means i'm on form so i'll pass one so click here control plus or command plus click it will go to that particular class and in here i have to accept that state we can say so let's create a state okay state and in here pass this dot state okay accept this this dot state and in here i have to create state this is a real life example okay guys okay and now in here home state use this this dot state okay the process is same i'm i have to pass this for the first time it will open zero okay so here we go now the uh, remaining process is same i guess okay in its state in its state uh, let's see if i get this error i have to pass state uh, over here some here state okay I'll get error and the next thing is I'm missing something I know but let it be let refresh the page if I'm clicking over here if I click here if I click on edit okay okay sorry again refresh the page if I am I'm trying to post the data okay save this thing so it has to change the state okay on clicking that uh, particular thing so wait 
okay guys i got this so inside form i just have to change this on press method to save okay because uh, we have made this save function over here so i have to call this and the next thing is each time when i type something inside text element i just have to get uh, that particular changes over here and you just need to call this function like whatever the value is coming inside that field you have to set this to user dot name will be equal to val okay so that's it okay and for rest of them i'll use the same process but remember that uh, we have to use the same page for editing as well to update data so for that i, ha I have to know the uh, what id okay password will be password huh? I always do such mistakes uh, so password is a password that's it so let's see how it look oh my god oh my god oh my god where it came from right. okay here we go now demo demo at one two three dot com demo at one two three save okay it's working completely fine okay it's working but when i click on edit it should again go to the same form but this time i'll use and that's it i guess it's fine but, uh, if you want to use a text field over here for id as well you can use this thing like this okay no need to use this but uh, the visibility uh, visibility of this child element which will be type of text uh, text and controller will be same as rest of them id okay and visibility is hidden okay visible is false so controller text field text field okay and id should be converted into to string that's it so it's perfectly fine now i'm getting error over here i don't know why It's just a silly error okay got this now i have to know that if i am inside my detail page and if i hit on edit so i have to navigate page right so again navigate dot push context so new material page route and this time i'll use context and it will call on um, my what is that home uh, so i have to go to zero page zero but i have id okay so if i have id first of all i have to import a main page over here so i can access my home okay so now this time i have to increment variables like another is my id okay i'll pass zero by default but uh, in this case i'll pass my user dot id that's it so click here control plus click and in here create another variable known as id now in here i'll use this dot id for rest of them as well here as well int id and here as well int id again wherever you see that home so you can pass this uh, over there okay 
so let's see where i'm getting this error right here home by default zero zero pass zero zero and why we are getting this error we are getting two okay 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 in here this dot id so we got this we'll get error okay we are getting error now navigator dot push where we are getting this in the page of form in the page of form we have to change this over here where is that okay one comma zero okay here we go let's update the page and let's see okay we got this okay so next time when we click on add it it should go to it, it's going on the page but we have to uh, get the data as well so inside my form okay on initiated okay whenever we initiate the page so on init we simply type in it on init state after that if we get id you just need to print id first so print your id let's see if it's working or not I'm, I'm not getting this ID over here inside my form I don't know why okay here we go now inside my main whenever I get this ID okay so I have to pass this over here inside my form by default this is zero okay so inside form again I have to create ID so int ID okay so I can pass this over here again this dot ID and from here again ID and now in here where is that where is that the you just need to pass id again so if, if you get this id over here you just need to print this thing okay so uh, side main you just need to pass id i guess yeah id let's use this dot id which is better okay so uh, we are not getting anything let's refresh the page okay we got zero but when we click here and here again on edit i have to get three so it's working completely fine so now inside i know guys it's tricky because uh, we are passing id from here to there so that's it so now in here if id sorry what was that this dot id if this dot id is not equal to zero it means i have to fetch data okay so I, i'll call something to get one okay we have to get one and because uh, we don't use init state as a async it, it not looks good so get one that particular thing which will be type of async async okay and use await make sure to import everything okay guys http dot get that single user single url http slash apis slash dollar and what was that this this dot id is better this dot id that's it this is better so i got this data as usual okay so where data 
I got this data so again where now JSON data will be my JSON dot T code right so you need to use that con you need to uh, import this convert convert dot dot convert so JSON dot T code okay and your data dot body this is a standard process you can use uh, something else it's all up to you how you use it and in return I just simply need to use user equal to user which uh, where I have to use you which is better you're familiar with it you dot ID you dot name email password name email and password okay so that's it i guess so let's see how it looks like uh, it, it should be in its state i guess uh, let's see if uh, it's working or not uh, if i go here here and here I have to reflect the changes so let's try to use set state so it will be better okay let's refresh the page and let's try it again okay I got this so here 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 okay I got this but this time if I save this thing it should be go here okay it's working perfectly fine again demo one demo1 at uh, gmail.com and demo123 let's save it and let's try to delete this thing so it's not deleting the data okay it's completely fine so uh, now for deleting data i have to use inside detail in delete i'll simply use await method and http dot delete something i have to import that http again import http as http make sure to use http and in here while deleting data i have to pass url save and slash apis slash dollar uh, I think we have ID right this dot user dot ID okay we have ID right we have ID yeah so this is the process of deleting that's it and after that uh, once we get rid of that thing you can again transfer this thing to zero zero uh, instead of that I'll pass one okay one is a list okay so let's try this out uh, don't worry about this try to refresh this page everything will be alright and click here try to delete this thing okay so it's working completely fine so thank you very much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time uh, it's been pleasure to be here make sure to follow me on, uh, on github as well uh, this is available on github you can uh, subscribe my youtube channel if you like my video if you want some more videos please let me know inside comment box uh, i'm really very excited guys uh, you want anything you just tell me what you want i'll make videos for you guys so thank you very much thank you all of you guys for being with me love you all